Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So it's Trump, Mar-a-Lago, um, Eileen Cannon. Uh, who are the other guys? Then we've got um, Yusil Tavares, who uh, is the IT guy that says, nope, get rid of that Trump attorney. And then we got uh, Waltine Nauta, who is still uh, under Trump's thumb, as well as Carlos D. Oliveira, who is alternatively a property manager or a maintenance guy. And, um, and they're all uh, just regular folks who, two of them look like they're ready to go under the bus for Trump, and one of them says, I'm not doing this. So, I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. You can't help but wonder what in the world is going to happen with Trump uh, and the Mar-a-Lago I hid the documents uh, case. Um, or I don't have any more documents or to give them all back to you case. Or my guys weren't shifting the boxes around, uh, hiding them from my own attorney who was in, one of my attorneys were then complicit in hiding them from the government case. So <laughs> Trump, uh, Mar-a-Lago. All about that. So what I really uh, want to focus on, let's go down the uh, list. Let's say, let's just ask in this case what's going to happen and then we'll go through those uh, three guys. What's going to happen to Trump in this mar logo against Jack Smith? But before we do any of that, you know what? I usually like to do this face up. Before we do any of that, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay, so Trump, Mar-a-Lago, guilty, innocent, um, hung jury, is he gonna die first? Um, which is interesting, because I think even if Trump drops dead, those guys are holding the bag. Why wouldn't they be? So, what can the cards tell us? Uh, six cards about the Trump Mar-a-Lago case. One, two, and if you like these cards, remember I'm gonna talk about them at the end of the video, uh, just like I always do. Six, I can't walk and chew gum, I lost count. Just a six, that's not good, is it? <laughs> so, so this will be a um, dyadic cross, just six cards. A signifier card, Trump, mar -Lago, that case, Jack Smith. What the heck is gonna go on? So we got the Ten of Pentacles. Actually, the Ten of Pentacles is pretty good. I mean, you know, Pentacles are value, worth, and the Ten of Pentacles is, is, I mean, it's it's celebratory. Now, it could stand for the Trump family, you know, if you want to be cynical. Uh, this could be Mar-a-Lago up on a hill, and this could be uh, the signifier for the documents case in, in Mar at Mar-a-Lago, the Trump family. It doesn't make sense. So let's just leave that uh, for a minute and understand that this is a plentiful uh, card, a lot of value, a lot of money, perhaps. A lot of money. Was he going to sell those documents? The, uh, the challenge to that, uh, Ten of Pentacles, then, is the Eight of Pentacles is getting your craft right. Also value, this is practicing over and over again. My goodness, he was going to sell that information. He thought that he had it down and he knew what he was doing, but the challenge to him by getting a big payday on those documents was having not practiced his craft. He didn't have it nailed down yet. The basis of this whole thing for that mar lago documents case is the Three of Pentacles building something for public display. But you know what, this, um, it's the base of all of this. We're talking about what can the cards tell us about that. The three pinnacles are up here in the sky. Usually they're displayed in a window design that this uh, craftsman is, is working on with a couple of other people. So the base of this is that uh, building something for public display, this has to be the prosecutor. This is Jack Smith, as a matter of fact. It also, it almost looks a little bit like him, shaped, clean shaven. Um, I like the way he's holding that uh, pick um, or chisel. So. 
and he is working on the edges of this design. If you see, this is done very intricately here. He's created all of this. He's more than halfway down. He's almost three quarters of the way finished. And then he still has to work on those beautiful mirrors. So the basis all of all this is Jack uh, Smith uh, getting the cooperation he needs. Those other people that are usually in that card with him to get this done. The past to this for the Mar Marlago and Trump is the last judgment. Okay, it's it's past that. That's already been decided karmically. There's there's an outcome that's just waiting to unfold. That's done. In the sky of this is the Queen of Rods. Rods are actions, plans, the Queen of Rods. So this is a, a little bit of a compassionate um, a person to be wielding uh, those actions. So he, there will be some, compa the best he can hope for, and it looks like there probably will be some compassion in whatever happens in this Mar-a-Lago situation regarding Trump and the Page of Pentacles. Page is just a very small offering of value. This is all about value. Um, and the likely outcome is there will be a little bit of value left to Mr. Trump. That's interesting. So what about that Yusil uh, Tavares? So he was the IT guy. I mean, he's director of IT. But listen, Trump gives out titles like, um, I don't know, instead of money. And so you can be a vice president of something at Trump Corporation and uh, not come where you're making near the money that uh, someone might think if they know that you have that title. So anyway, so he was the director of IT and he just told uh, Carlos when he pushed him, the maintenance slash property manager guy, um, look, I can't do that. I wouldn't know how to do it. I don't think I should do it. And then he dumped the Trump lawyer. So let's talk about Yusil uh, Tavares three cards, see what they can tell us about him. He just got his own attorney. Lucille Tavares. Okay. First card, Ace of Rods. He took a big action. He, made, he took his fate in his own hands. Uh, the next card up is the Eight of Pentacles, practicing his craft. He's going to get this right. Uh, he was doing his job appropriately as an IT guy. He knew he couldn't delete that information. And then the final card, the devil. Wow. Yeah. What do you think that is? So, perfect for Yusil uh, Tavares. Yeah, he is, uh, he's taking it into his own hands. He's going to be okay. And then uh, the next one we're going to talk about is uh, Waltine Nauda. So, the valet, the body man, the um, valet, the butler, okay, trained by the U.S. Navy from the Philippines. Um, probably had a very humble upbringing. This is probably the most amazing gig he's ever had in his life to be the first hand of the President of the United States, even if it's the ex-President of the United States. So three cards on him, how's he gonna do in all this prosecution? Walt Team Nauta, what's gonna happen with you? Walt, first car, Chariot. Whatever it is, it's going to happen quickly. Six of Swords. Ah, move out of troubled water. Value. Uh, not value, but uh, truth, justice, rules of law. Moving out of troubled water. And the Queen of Cups, compassion. So, okay. Let's get, you're going to, I think maybe you're going to move faster than we might have thought you would to uh, get yourself out of trouble and gain some compassion. So maybe you'll be the next one to go after you seal Tavares. But then the last one, is Carlos de Oliveira, Portugal, Portuguese fella. Um, and all these people, you know, once they say bad about Trump, their jobs are gone. You know, they can't pay the rent next next month. So, you know, it's, and, and they couldn't afford the attorneys to begin with. These are regular folks, you know. If Trump's not going to pay for the attorneys, they got to take what the government would offer. So, Carlos de Oliveira. One, two, Three. Okay. De Oliveira, Carlos, two of rods. So short-term plans. Uh, balancing this value. Left out in the cold. Oh no. So okay, he's looking into the short term and trying to think what can I do? What were the plans that I should take care of uh, right away? He's trying to balance the weight of that decision, but it could be that he gets left out in the cold in the end. Mm. You might wait too long. So that's the um, 
the three guys. That's all I got. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this, these are the new Palladini tarot, and David Palladini, um, you know, he had just finished art school when someone asked him to do take on a uh, a commission of doing uh, cards, and he did the Aquarian uh, tarot. Well, uh, 25 years later. Uh, once he was an established artist, uh, he came back to the Terra and decided to uh, to make this new deck. And so, um, more to his influence. And uh, this is published by U.S. Games. And the, the instruction booklet in this is run-of-the-mill, except for the uh, part where uh, they talk about the new Palladini Tarot, where they talk about the artwork, and where the, uh, uh, the artist actually speaks here. I mean, this is an interesting few little pages to read, so I don't know. I like it. But the cards themselves, let me spread them out so you can see them before we use them, are really neat. If you've ever seen the Aquarian Tarot, it's kind of a muted set of colors and it's a great deck to use. Well, these are just more vibrant and um, really, really a nice deck of cards. I love uh, to use these cards. They're just really pop and it's easy to know what they mean and uh, they're great. David Palladini, thank you. But I like to do this so that you can get an idea of what all the cards look like and uh, maybe they'll help you figure out what cards you want to buy if you want to buy some more cards or your first cards or you know I used to always wonder uh, when I was just watching the videos uh, what the rest of the cards look like so that's why I do this new town new Paladini uh, tarot well coming back tomorrow I'll be doing it all again so ciao for now